first fight of the evening is in the tough enough lightweight division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner with an MMA record of no wins and three losses. Fighting independently out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Steve Hoffman. As well as stands across the cage in the red corner with no wins and two losses. Fighting out of Torres MMA, Las Vegas, Nevada. He is Dustin Morales. Worker in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. Steve Hoffman in the gray trunks, Dustin Morales in the black. This is lightweight action here at Tough Enough, the future stars of mixed martial arts. And what used to be my favorite division, 155, now it's 170, but 155 still in second place. Oh, I'm, I'm more of a Bantamweight fan now. Quick action, by the way. Yeah, they exchange leg kicks. Not much of a feeling out process here. Hoffman working inside for a takedown. Nice underhook there by Morales. He's not going to make it easy. Very Look good takedown defense Great by takedown Morales. Defense. And they almost ended up in our laps here. <laughs> Hoffman drove Morales all the way across the cage, was able to drag him down to a seated position. And this is one of those cases where the takedown's been completed in a way, but yet Morales is still scoring. I don't know that the judges are completely giving Hoffman uh, the nod here as the round progresses. Yeah, you can see Hoffman right now has the leg wraps. That's good position there. It makes it difficult for Dustin Morales to try to get back up to his feet because he just get dragged right back down. Now he lets go of it. You know, we talk about the learning process here at Tough Enough, and the one thing that I saw out of Hoffman was the takedown looked like it was almost about to get stopped, but he drove and he drove until he got it, and that's something you don't even see in the pro ranks sometimes. Yeah, fantastic effort, and he's working to a dominant position here. He's got the right leg clear, does Dustin Hoff or Dustin Morales, excuse me, Steve Hoffman, I'll get that right. We'll mix up the names there. Half guard underneath for Dustin Morales. Two-minute rounds here at Tough Enough, so they got to get busy. Yeah. Very Good. surprising here. Yeah, referee Chris Tyone. You said it, George. Two-minute rounds, you got you got to be busy. Kind of a quick stand-up, but I honestly don't have too much of a problem with it in the amateur ranks with only two-minute rounds to work with. Now Morales gets a chance to stand and throw some hands. Nice toss there. Morales with excellent work there. Nearly had to take down. Knees inside. And it seems like Morales is aware that he was down in that round. He needs to make something happen. And these guys are testing the metal of this cage, huh? <laughs> They've <laughs> almost gone through two times. <laughs> Looks like the round's going to end up there with... Uh, Morales Stop. applying a choke, but not much of a threat there. Well, guys, interesting round to score there. Steve Hoffman obviously had the two takedowns in the round, ended up in top position. Yeah. Dustin Morales, while they were on the feet, had a few nice knees to the body. He was actually punching while he was in the bottom position. But what do you think? Is Was the dominant positioning by Steve Hoffman enough to take the round? I think so. And I and when I say that, I think that's how the judges are going to call it. Yeah. Bill, uh, how about you? I, you know, I, I think it was just enough. Barely, though. But I think Morales is going to make these adjustments that he made here. You saw at the end of the round, he, he was able to fight him off a little bit more and kind of implement a little bit of his game. I, mean, not, I don't want to say he went into panic mode, but he made stuff happen, and I think uh, round two is going to be completely different. Yeah, I'm on the same page with you guys. I think it was actually a pretty close round. Dustin Morales did a decent job while he was on his feet. Obviously, he was trying to punch while he was on his back as well, but just a little bit too much time in top position for uh, Dustin Hoffman, so I think he's got round one. Well, I got a clear view of Morales. He's not breathing too heavy. I'm trying to see if we can get a... We can see through the monitor that Hoffman looks pretty good, too. Both guys in shape. All right, so again, Steve Hoppin in the gray trunks, Dustin Morales in the black lightweight division. Both fighters looking for their first amateur win. I always believe as the fight goes on, it's just more mental than physical. Nice punches inside from both fighters there. Hoffman trying to sneak around to the back. Yeah, it's two times he's gone for uh, uh, some sort of a throw or a toss. And Hoffman's uh, had heavy hips, and next thing you know, he's winding up on top. Yep. Got the hook in on the right-hand side. Trying to get that other hook in on the left is Steve Hoffman. Dustin Morales doing a good job of pinning the arm there. And now he's on top. Excellent reversal there from Dustin Morales. Nearly gave up his back, but continued to work hard to stay clear and wound up in top position. That was fantastic work. And hopefully he took note of Chris Tyone's uh, you know, he's got, a, he's got a little bit of a quick quick trigger there, so he's got to get to work, stay yeah, busy. Yeah, with just two minutes to work, if you're on the floor, you really do have to stay aggressive. See Steve Hoffman kicking that right leg high, looking for a potential 
arm bar, triangle choke setup. Nothing there yet. He was trying to control Morales' left wrist, but then he let go. Now he's back at it again. I don't know if he wants to swing his legs over. Or... Dust Morales posturing up there, landing a couple of big punches on the way back down into his opponent's guard. A little blood's been drawn, too. I can't tell who it's coming yep. from. Now. It looks like Hoffman on the bottom. Right from the nose of Dustin. Or, I just want to say Dustin Hoffman. That's the problem. <laughs> You got you to gotta admire Morales' aggressiveness, though. He, he probably has an idea he lost round one. He's really making it back. Now, here he goes again. If he doesn't complete that toss, he's going to wind up on the bottom. There we go. Look, and almost had his back taken. That's the danger of looking at that hip toss. If you don't hit yeah. it, you can very easily give up your back. Yeah, there's uh, 15 seconds left here. Steve Hoffman falling into his opponent's guard. Final 10 seconds of the second round. Hoffman's really going to have to put some uh, work in here to steal this round. I think I'm going to give this one to Morales. Looks like maybe 1-1 one, one going into the third. Yeah, well, you tipped your hand there a little bit. I mean, Steve Hoffman does finish the round in top position. You can see the blood is really starting to flow, as you can see it on the chest of his opponent. Yeah, the nose is an absolute mess right there. Yeah, I... Steve Hoffman finishes the round on top, but I've got to take Dustin Morales as well. I think, obviously, you see the damage they did. Now, damage is not a scoring criteria, but I think it's certainly something that you see from the judges. But I thought the real offense was the punches that Dustin Morales was able to land from top position. I, I like the fact, I'm pretty sure it was pretty obvious Morales' round, but what I like is he kind of turned the tide, he made the adjustments, and now the momentum's on his side. Absolutely. Steve Hoffman, uh, tough to tell, you know, if, if the blood is, that's being worked on there is going to impede his breathing. You can see the doctors going to work and trying to stem that blood right away. So we've got this thing even. This could be anybody's fight going into the third and final round. Steve oh. Hoffman's going to have to dig deep. Round one was close, though. It was. And I'll, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think round two was a blowout either, even with the shots that were done there in the ground and pound. And an update for you two, I got a little bit of um, Hoffman's blood on me too, not just Morales. <laughs> <laughs> Round three underway. It is tough enough. Steve Hoffman is in the gray trunks. Dustin Morales is in the black. We're going to take a quick pause here before we start the final round and make sure the blood is all cleaned up. We don't want anybody slipping on that. An extra 15 seconds or 30 seconds never. Uh, That's right. Catch your breath that, a little right? bit. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah. We think this is one round apiece going into the third and final round, but again, scores could be anywhere. These have been two very tight rounds. Here we go, last round. Fight. Steve's corner right behind us calling for a kick. We'll see exactly what they were looking for. You can see right Morales' now. ribs. I mean, they're, they're, they're really red from that first kick. Steve Hoffman grinding hard on a takedown. Gets it on the second half and falls into a guillotine choke. He's relentless, isn't he? Dustin Morales looking for the guillotine choke there. It doesn't look like he's underneath the neck, so he's uh, okay. Yeah. okay yeah. A little off to the side, can't get his arms locked up just yet, so you're right. Steve Hoffman in fine position right now. The blood instantly flowing from that nose again. And Morales has to make a decision here because Steve is landing some blows. He's scoring points, so if he doesn't get the submission, he's going to be down a while. Right. Maybe start looking to sweep or just wrap him up, hope that the referee sees it the same way and stands him up. That's very dangerous to settle on your back here. You see Dustin Morales using the overhook on the right side there on his opponent's right arm. Looking to set up a potential sweep or trying to set up a submission here as well. Dustin Morales staying busy on his back. The time is winding down, goes As you said, Dustin Hoffman spending a lot of time in top position. He's scoring points and he's being smart. You, know, you see where he's positioning himself. He's trying to stay out of trouble. Referee Chris Tyone again wants to stand up. 40 seconds left in this third round. That could be a big moment in the fight. Dustin Morales needs to go. And he does. Walking forward with punches. Steve Hoffman, blood flying everywhere. Looking for the takedown. Gets another takedown. This time the guillotine looks a little bit tighter. Well, my, my view is blocked on both accounts, but it does look like there isn't a, a guillotine there. He's out. Final 10 seconds almost of the third and final round. This is your round. You won this. Morales almost swept him, but that was it. That was probably his last chance. Steve Hoffman is going to finish this round on top. All right, guys. Well, we've got Steve Hoffman's blood all over us here. Uh, <laughs> now let's talk about his chances to win this fight. I think Steve Hoffman 
out hustled Dustin Morales basically and took that third and final round just by gritting it out and being on top. That's exactly what he did. His wrestling won it because he was uh, relentless. You know, he went after him very well and he always finished the takedown. The Morales through. had no answer, yeah. He followed through on all of his takedowns, and I think that was the difference. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I wasn't disappointed with either guy. Uh, these records don't seem indicative to me of uh, their overall skill set. They both look like tough guys with good futures. Just got to work on some stuff here. Yeah, I agree. Dustin Morales, I thought, you know, had a couple of good moments. They had one striking exchange right over here that I thought Dustin Morales uh, was going to cause a little damage there and looked well on his way to doing something. Steve Hoffman uh, was stood up but got that second takedown, and to me, that's the difference in the fight. Uh, I think we're in agreement here that we've all got Steve Hoffman, right? Steve Hoffman, 2-1. Big gut check, too, going into that third round. Yeah, you can see the, the, the nose was certainly bleeding, man. That could not have been easy to deal with, impeding the breathing and, and really just bothering you that you're seeing your blood everywhere. But it looks like uh, he may have done enough. We'll see if the judges agree with us. Again, we said it, close rounds. Close rounds in the opening two rounds for sure. Both guys putting on a little a little dance off there. Yeah. Feeling the Jay-Z and Justin Timberlake. I, I, I think both guys are still a little unsure of what may have happened, you know, what transpired over the course of six minutes and did I win that round? Did I do enough? So they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be, you know, a little bit surprised, a little bit let down. Nothing's a lock here, as we all know. Once it goes to the judges, anything can happen. And John, you know, I, I like the fact that you keep Re-emphasizing just the talent level that's here at Tough Enough. I can't tell you how many times I've been at a Tough Enough show, and I'm, I come away more impressed than even some of the fights I see in the professional level. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take it up to Just Bernard and get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of war, we have your winner by split decision of CYN MMA, Steve Hoffman! Look so, how much of into him. Look at that. I was going to say, it meant a lot to him. Here's some boos from the crowd. You know, a split decision. We said they were close, but I got to say, no boos coming from the commentary booth other than booing the uh, the young lady that just splashed Windex all over <laughs> us. But, but, but other than that, I think the right guy won. But Steve Hoffman, split decision, picks up his first amateur win. His O has gone. We've got plenty more action here in the Tough Enough Cage. Stay tuned for more of the future stars in mixed martial arts.